Hello everyone and welcome to Timberborn. We're going to begin a new game and for this series we're going to play as the Iron Teeth. We're going to be playing on the Waterfalls map, but for this one we're going to be playing on Hard Mode. And if you look at some of the stats for Normal Mode, you can see that the Drought Duration is 5 to 9 days, Bad Tide Duration is 4 to 8 days, versus on Hard Mode you can see that these Droughts and Bad Tides last a lot longer, 15 to 30 days for both the Bad Tide and the Drought. And I've only played on hard mode a couple of times, and the first time I played it on it, I died almost immediately. The second time was a little bit more successful. So, from the very beginning, we are going to pause it because we do not want to waste any time. And you can see we have the water spawning from up here and then coming down the waterfall. And then it splits here, and if we get rid of this blockage, then the water will be going this way and it'll push the bad water out through here. In the beginning of this series, we're going to have to make sure we get plenty of wood because that is going to be a huge limiting factor. But the biggest difference is that we're going to be running out of water pretty quickly because the droughts last so long and the wet seasons are much shorter. And in the beginning, per usual, I like to build a lot of lumberjack flags. That way we can get extra wood. And we're also going to bump up the amount of builders we have in the beginning. And until we have a forester, I'm going to leave a couple trees over there and then one over here that we will not cut down that way if we do run out of wood we can have these slowly repopulate the tree population so let's go ahead and get going we're going to have this water pump constructed as soon as they get some wood and then we also want to get a farmhouse set up as well and then we're going to get a berry collector as well make sure that he constructs that we'll set this to lower priority that way the other jobs can be filled in since they don't have any resources to construct anything quite yet. And then we also need to get at least a few water storage tanks ready. And then we'll prioritize this building to get built first, and then probably a couple of these water storage tanks. And it's the first night and you can see that some of the beavers are beginning to rough it. They don't have beds yet. And it'll probably be a little while before we actually end up making houses for them. My goal for this first wet season is just to get a little bit of water stored up and then maybe build a dam across here. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to do that. It really depends on how long the wet season is because if it's only three days long, then I don't think that we'll be able to build this in time. And we'll get some kohlrabi on the go. I will be eventually making this whole area of the farm. We'll probably consolidate some of the berries to this side and then obviously get rid of the trees over here. And then we're gonna attempt to build this dam across here. Just need to get some paths set up so they can reach everything. And we don't really have a whole lot of water. We'll have to make sure that this doesn't drop too low. Otherwise, we might need to build another one of these. In fact, we'll have this ready, but I don't think they'll work on it until they start doing the dams. Oh, we also have to have the working hours bumped up to 18 because there's not really anything for them to do right now once they're done working. Oh, we shouldn't have this going either because he planted everything. And let's go ahead and unpause one of these lumberjack flags and also bump up the amount of workers we have. And another day of sleeping in the dirt for the beavers. The early days of the settlement are not the coziest. And it's the beginning of day four and it has not indicated there's a drought, which is excellent news. We have just a little bit more time to start working on this dam. With that second log pumper, we jumped up to almost 60 water, which is not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, but with only 12 beavers, it's enough for a little bit. We'll probably want to build a couple more of these before the drought if possible but the priority is definitely still getting this dam constructed because if we can construct this we have a little bit of access to water during the dry season and that will allow our crops to keep growing and we are officially halfway across the river we have five of the ten pieces placed down not doing too shabby on wood we're not short but it helps when you have five lumberjack flags spread throughout and at the beginning of day five we have a drought approaching in three days these beavers better hurry up and get this constructed. And their well-being is not doing too hot either. Since they lose three for not having shelter, it, they are collectively at negative one well-being. Oh, and we need to collect berries because we are almost completely out of food. But we do have some kohlrabi growing up, so we'll go ahead and unpause this guy. We need to pause one of the lumberjack flags. And then after we can get across here, we can start looking at getting some more storage set up for both water and food. They are working on the second to last piece and we have two days left until the drought, so I'm not too concerned about them finishing that. During the dry season we can get some science established, so we'll go ahead and get some of these built, but we'll have these set to lower priority. The final log, 
Oh, he placed it, but he didn't build it. And we are officially completely out of food. I think we should reduce the amount of builders and then put one more in the farmhouse for now. And then they can also work on getting these constructed. Well, this really should be highest priority. Then they can work on the water storage afterwards. We're going to bump the working hours up to 20 just for this last day. Get a few more drops of water from these water pumpers. And we'll go ahead and pause both of the water pumpers for now. And then if we need to pump some water, we can do that. But that'll be a little bit later in the drought. Anyway, we got some unemployed beavers, but we're fixing that by getting a few more lumberjack flags built. The next thing we're going to work on is getting a large power wheel and then also an industrial lumber mill set up. And so what I'm shooting for right now is getting some planks created and then we also have just about enough science to unlock the forester. And then once we can place that guy down, he'll be able to start planting some trees. And then we won't have to worry about running out of wood ever, at least not permanently. There will probably be wood shortages at some point since we'll be using a lot of wood pretty quickly. So this is a new series. You guys might be wondering, why am I starting a new series? I just started one a few episodes ago. Well, I learned pretty quickly in the other series that the mega builds that I've been working on take a lot more planning and I am not able to pump out the videos quite as often as I was liking. So I am planning to release probably one or two of these videos and then release a mega build afterwards. And I'll probably continue on with that rotation. We'll do one or two of these videos and then one of the mega build let's plays. And I've been looking forward to doing this series for quite a while. I haven't really played on hard mode that much, and so this is definitely going to be a challenge for me. And then we also have a huge announcement. We have our first channel member who joined the channel. So thank you to Jason Zinda for joining. Glad that you're helping to support the channel. And if anyone else wants to join the channel membership, you absolutely can, but there is no pressure. You guys coming back and watching the videos is more than enough. But if you want to support the channel a little bit more, that is one of the ways that you can do so. And the last announcement is that we did reach a thousand subscribers, so thank you to everyone who subscribed and helped us get there. There's going to be a 1,000 subscriber video coming up soon, and it's going to be a Q&A, so make sure to leave any questions you have down below in the comments. The questions can be about me, Timberborn, or this YouTube channel, or really anything that you guys want to ask, and I will do my best to answer. So thank you to everyone who's left a question so far. Let's keep it going. It is going to be a very fun episode. We have the first beaver working in the large power wheel, and we have some working in the lumber mill as well, getting those planks going. And then as soon as we get that forester in, then we won't have to worry about losing any trees. Oh, but you can see this beaver actually chipped his tooth. We'll get this teeth grindstone set up, and we can actually unlock this right now. And with all the wood we have remaining over here, plus in this area, I am not worried about running out. So we can also look at building some other stuff as well, like houses, that's kind of important. Before they finish this, we're going to move it. We'll get all the resources back. But I want to shift that over this way a little bit. Then we can go ahead and get a few houses set up over here. And then we'll have some room for some fun activities in this back area as well. Maybe even up on top of here. Well, the one thing we absolutely need, we'll need to get a couple more water pumpers. We'll get these two and we'll high prioritize them because we're going to need a lot more water for this next drought. I imagine it's going to be longer than just four days. And you can see the drought has ended. We have begun cycle two. We need to quickly place down some trees for this forester to plant. And then we have the beavers working on getting these two water pumps constructed. We also don't need this lumber mill running right now. And then we'll get some more water storage set up. I wish that you could mass select all these to be water because this is a little bit tedious to go through them individually. And in hard mode, we really need to focus on the seasonality of jobs like water pumpers. Those absolutely have to be happening during the wet season for obvious reasons. And then jobs like this guy, when he's doing nothing, we can have those wait until later. And then getting enough storage for water is also of utmost importance. And there are a lot of berries over here. We could actually collect some of these, but I think we'll probably wait to do that until the dry season when we don't have half our beavers working in the water pumps. And then during the next dry season, we can also get a campfire set up, give them something to do plus housing. Yeah, they don't need to be sleeping on the ground much longer. Day three started and there's already a drought. What the heck? That means this wet season will have only been five days long. Okay, we need to prioritize getting this set up. So what are some jobs we can pause? This guy's not doing anything right now. There's no trees to cut down. We need food. Really the only one that I can think of is the forester. I don't really want to pause him, but we might have to. Oh, they're building the houses. Oh, great. Okay, let's 
Let's get rid of that. We don't need that right now. We need these ones first. I should have assigned the priority to these. But we should collect all these resources first. That way they don't have to go wandering all the way across here to get wood. So we only have seven homeless beavers now. Some of them are getting some shelter, which is bumping their well-being up. This guy just went to sleep starving. We had our first beaver die of old age, but we do have five babies, so that's going to help regrow the population. We can throw the unemployed beaver into here, get some more berries, because you can see that we are out, and the breeding has been halted temporarily. Although we have... Oh, we need storage for them to pick these up. Plop a little storage there for the berries, but I'll make these water storage tanks first. And we can once again place down another house. By the time they construct this, we'll probably need to make a third one. So let's just go ahead and get that ready as well. And we'll try and get just a little bit more water before the drought begins. We're up to 320 water, which is excellent. Way more than the last time. So the drought has started and we just paused all these. We can go ahead and unpause these inventor sets. And then we'll go our last unemployed beaver. He'll be put on berry patrol. He can get some of the fresh berries over here. We also need to look at getting another farmhouse because we actually are not really going up in kohlrabis at all. Plus we need to get some storage situated as well. And we have a few extra trees up here. Can this guy reach them all? Sweet, he can. That'll be like 10 extra wood. Not a whole lot. But when you have zero, 10's a lot. It does look like the drought is only four days long, I believe. Maybe it was five days. I didn't check when it started. But that's not actually that bad. I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. One thing we will need to set up pretty soon, actually, is the bad water diversion system. Because when the bad tide comes through, it's going to go this way. And if we let it go through here, it is going to kill everything over in this area. So what I'm hoping that we can do is just put some floodgates up and then push the water over in this direction after we remove this right here. But we'll remove that once we can get some more floodgates in because right now during the drought, we need this to be green so that we can keep all our food and trees growing. We got our second house built and you can see that the beavers are enjoying it. Well being went up to four. I think that the forester was homeless before. So hopefully he'll get a little bit of a bonus by not being homeless. Oh, he went up to five right now. But hopefully he's gonna plant a little bit faster. Nice little working speed bonus of 10% and movement speed bonus of 5%. So we have a lot of cassavas, and I did want to plant them so that we could use them in the future, but we don't have a fermenter yet. So we'll need to build that at some point, but that does take a bit of wood. And we are stuck at zero right now. Thankfully this guy is planting away. He's focusing on the birch first since those grow up really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the stairs, and then... Once they build that, they can come over here and we'll be able to have them remove this barrier and then these two barriers after the next drought, I believe. And getting over here will allow them to start working on the floodgates that we can put up over here. And with it being the last day of the drought, that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. I always enjoy starting a new series and I hope you guys do as well. Once again, I appreciate all the support that you guys have given on all of the videos. It has been fantastic making these videos for you guys. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, comment down below, all of that. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.